All right, welcome back to AP Computer Science. This is going to be lesson, um, this is going to be question four, rather, on the 2015 free response. I finished, when I was doing question three's video, I thought that was the end, but apparently nope, there's one more question, so we're going to go ahead and do it. And this question asks, asks us to implement uh, a number group interface, and that's going to be uh, a way of um, defining a group of integers. So uh, we're going to, and it asks us to implement a contains method that determines if an integer is in a group. Okay, so the way this contains method should work is we want to return a boolean, right? Because we want to see if something's in a range or not. We want to use the word contains here as the as the question asks, as the function name, and we're going to want to take in some integer. Simple enough, that's our interface. And we define the interface by using the word interface here. So we're going to go ahead and implement our interface in a class called range, which is part B of this question. And uh, as you see here, we just used the word implements and number group. And uh, my IDE is complaining because we haven't implemented all abstract methods. Uh, now to do that, we simply uh, implement our contains method, like so. Okay, so now we need to write code to say uh, if it's in a certain range, but we should first uh, implement our constructor and anything else we need. So the way range is supposed to work, I'll bring over the document, is that um, range is supposed to take in a minimum and a maximum, and we can assume that the min is always smaller than the max, and it represents a group of numbers. So we're going to go ahead and make uh, private variables to store the min and max, and we're going to go ahead and make that constructor. We're going to set min equal to m1, and then max equal to m2. And now we need to implement contains. Now to do this, we need to just make sure that x is going to be bigger than the min, right? So we're going to return min is less than or equal to x, and x is smaller than or equal to the max. And that should be it. And I think in this file right here, yeah, I made a simple test case. So I made the range 1 through 5. So the first one we should expect 3 to be true and 0 to be false. And when we run it, and behold, that's correct. So that should be it. If you need any more questions or help or suggestions, let me know. Thanks for watching.